Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Prissy and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is feeling a bit um, indecisive. They may have a lot on their plate right now, but there's an energy here of juggling. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Moon, Pisces Energy, the Four of Swords, Air Energy, and the Eight of Swords, Air Energy. So someone feels kind of stuck. They, they have a lot of fears. Uh, with the moon being here, it could be around their feelings, around being vulnerable, um, but they're very hesitant and they may not even be showing you this. There's an energy of hiding their fears, but this person is terrified. Um, with the four of swords, you could be in some sort of separation from this person and they want to, there's almost an energy of, you know, wanting to take some sort of action, but kind of talking themselves out of it. It's like they're afraid of taking action. They feel like they can't, they, they shouldn't. They feel like something's bad, something bad is going to happen or that it's not in their hands. It's like someone who's, you know, convincing themselves that they're powerless, that they can't do anything. And, um, you know, at the same time, they're going back and forth about whether they should or whether they shouldn't. And it's just keeping them stuck in this mental imprisonment with the Eight of Swords here. So let's clarify these cards, um, Virgo. Okay, so we have the strength card and this is Leo energy. So with this card, this person could also be battling their pride, their ego. There's something that's really stopping this person from following their heart. Um, and it does look like they have some sort of beliefs, limiting beliefs around being vulnerable or um, listening to their intuition. So this person at this time, they're very stuck. I'm seeing a lot of, um, you know, mental mind game playing for themselves in a conflict, but no action being taken here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Six of Swords, Air Energy, and the Two of Wands, Fire Energy. So this person, they, they know your worth. They see your value. They see you as someone who's stable, someone who is secure, someone who brings some sort of security into the mix. And there is a fear of you moving on from them. You could have parted ways with this person and they didn't fight for you. It's it, This person is really struggling here because it's like they want to keep you, but they feel like they're powerless in this situation. Um, there is a desire for peace and healing, um, but it's like at this time, they feel like they shouldn't reach out. They shouldn't bother you. Um, there's a lot of think overthinking going on for this person right now. The two of ones is showing someone who is kind of planning and thinking about the next steps and the future of this connection, you know, but not really taking any action. Um, just very much overthinking the situation right now. In fact, this person feels almost paralyzed by their thoughts. So I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, uh, Virgo. Okay, so we have the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. So you could be getting some sort of answers at some point from this person, but it does look like there may be a bit of a delay before this happens because with the moon card, it's like this person has kept a lot from you. Okay, so I'm going to put out another card for you, Virgo.
Okay, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So there's a message here about letting this person come to their truth on their own. There's an energy of not fighting for this person, not pushing this person, and especially not chasing this person because this is someone who uh, their fears, their issues run very deep and it has nothing to do with you. So I do see an energy of really not pushing when it comes here to this person. The answers will come to you at the right time. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. Okay, we have grace and sweetness. The pursuit of perfection then is the pursuit of sweetness and light. Okay, so there's definitely something here about um, accepting a situation, leaving a situation and allowing it to unfold naturally in some way here. Um, because I do see someone here who, this person, they may see themselves as a victim, but they're really not. So I do see it's like, don't do the hard work for them. They will come to it on their own. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Virgo. We have surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. Okay, so that's the advice for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.